Hey everyone, welcome to Area 616 and to Day 2 of Guardians of the Galaxy Week. Now I'd wager you read the title and you are probably wondering why this is in Guardians of the Galaxy Week and not, say, Avengers Week. Well, that's because the Guardians do have a big role in both Avengers 3 and 4. And on top of that, what I'll get into here will actually start to talk about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. So, one of the biggest questions on Marvel fans' minds right now is what is Avengers 4 about and what will it be called? When it was first announced, the two Avengers movies were Avengers Infinity War Part 1 and Part 2. However, Marvel has since changed that to Avengers Infinity War and an untitled sequel. According to the Russo brothers, the reason it was changed is because, in reality, the two films are actually pretty dramatically different. So that begs the question, how? What exactly will Avengers 4 be about? Well, today I wanted to go into three possibilities for Avengers 4, all centered around the villains. The first is, of course, Thanos. Now, there's no doubt Thanos will almost definitely be involved in Avengers 4, to some degree. Um, the question is how much. For all we know, he could have a flashback or a cameo there. He doesn't necessarily have to be in it. But here, we're assuming he is still the villain of Avengers 4. It's worth noting that Zoe Saldana recently said in an interview that they were going back for, quote, Infinity Gauntlet um, in the fall. James Gunn later said she misspoke and that wasn't the title of Avengers 4, but Gauntlet's quite a specific word to say accidentally. It's of course possible it's a placeholder name until the final one is decided on, but I'm going to theorize that is the name, and Gunn was just trying to cover it up. For a lot of people, that would be a case closed for them. Obviously, Infinity War has Thanos collecting the stones, and then the fourth one would be him finally having the full gauntlet. In a lot of ways, that's likely, probably the most likely on this list, if I'm being honest, but I'm going to assume that Marvel will do something different in Avengers 4, that they will try to really surprise us. That's why I say there's really more than one way to interpret the title Avengers Infinity Gauntlet. That doesn't mean Thanos has the gauntlet. Heck, it could be Nebula. She actually did get a hold of it for a short while in the comics. It could also be the second villain I'm bringing up here, Magus. Who's Magus? Basically, Magus is the evil version of Adam Warlock. He's a character I've seen brought up many times in an option for Avengers 4. And here's the thing, it might actually be very likely, because it was actually just recently more or less confirmed that Adam Warlock will be in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 by James Gunn. There's no word if that's where he'll first appear or what role he'll have, but he's definitely in Volume 3. So is it possible that he could make his first appearance in Infinity Gauntlet? Perhaps maybe not as Magus, but just as Adam Warlock, the champion of life to oppose Thanos, the champion of death. Well, there's two things to bring up with that one. One, that would take the focus away from the Avengers, as it wouldn't be them who'd ultimately beat Thanos. It'd be different if it were perhaps someone who became an Avenger, but we know that Warlock will end up with the Guardians, so that makes this unlikely. However, it's still worth theorizing. But then I also wanted to bring up the possibility that Avengers 4 has really nothing to do with Thanos. It'd be bizarre, but it would definitely fit with the Russo saying 4 is very different than 3. Now this is pretty unlikely, as we know the Guardians are in 4, but they could be a cameo. Basically the option I want to propose here, as unlikely as it is, is that Avengers 4 is about the new Avengers, Captain Marvel, Spider-Man, Ant-Man, the Wasp, maybe even Black Panther and Doctor Strange, fighting maybe Zemo, the Masters of Evil, or heck, even the Red Skull. There are many fans that don't believe that Red Skull is actually dead, and I am among them. So perhaps the events of Infinity War help Red Skull find his way back to Earth, and he sets out to take down Cap once and for all. Again, very unlikely, but it's still worth mentioning. At the end of the day, it is very likely that Infinity War will have Thanos' Black Order be more present in the film as they collect the Infinity Stones for him, 
and then Avengers 4 will have him finally holding the full Infinity Gauntlet. That would also explain how Avengers 3 and 4 are so different. Avengers Infinity War takes place mostly on Earth as a sort of race against time to keep the stones away from the Black Order, only to ultimately fail, and then Avengers 4 could have the Avengers and Guardians going up to space to face Thanos once and for all. That's probably where this is going, however it's still fun to theorize, and it's not to say we couldn't get a version of all of these. We could still very well get the introduction of Adam Warlock or Magus, Nebula could steal the Infinity Gauntlet from Thanos, and Red Skull could still return. I'm doing a video later this week that will try and predict the movies of Phase 4, so I'll expand on the Red Skull theory there. But I'd love to know what do you guys think will happen in Avengers 4? Do you agree with any of my theories, or do you foresee something else completely? And what do you think about Adam Warlock finally showing up in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3? Let me know all your thoughts and theories in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. There's a road I'd like to tell you about. Lives in my hometown. Make sure drive the road is called, and it'll take you up or down. From rats on up to riches, 15 minutes you can fly. Pretty blue lights along.